Okay, welcome to Tinkercad. This is the first video in the series. And what I'm going to show you in this video is just really how to navigate the space, how to get around, and to understand what different pieces are. So I've already logged in, uh, as you can see here, and we have some Tinkercad accounts that all students can share. Uh, you should already know your account login and your password for Tinkercad.com. So when you first log in, you're going to see uh, your profile, or that shared profile right here, and then any designs that you're currently working on. And up at the top left, you will see some menus that we'll get to in a moment. Uh, but the first thing I want you to do, this is uh, we're going to create a new design, and I want to show you what the Tinkercad environment looks like. So I'm going to click on Create New Design. And what you're presented with is what we're going to call the work plane. This is your grid. This is what your objects are going to be placed on. And over here on the left is uh, are some buttons to allow you to move around. But I'm actually going to show you how to use your mouse uh, to move around as well. And then on the right, you're going to see the different types of shapes that you can bring into your drawing. Now, when you open up, you might see these little triangles you might see a menu that looks more like this. And all that's really happening is these triangles here that I'm clicking on are either open or closed. So I'm, I have them closed right now so that you can see the different types of categories of shapes you can bring in. Things like letters, and numbers, and, uh, shape generators, all this stuff that we'll cover in later videos. Um, and then across the top here are some of these same things. Like if you clicked on that one, you'd get all the shapes. If you clicked on this one, you'd get all the hollows, what we call the holes, okay? If you click on this one, you get the letters, and if you click on this one, you get the numbers. So all of that stuff shows up right here. And again, we'll talk about this more in future videos. And then the last thing that I think I want you to know in terms of understanding the space is this right here. So mine came out to be called Fantastic Alice. This is the name that gets auto-generated from Tinkercad. Yours will be different. Every time you start a new design, it comes up with this uh, interesting name. We can change that later, but for now I just want you to know that it generates uh, a, a made-up name for you. Okay, that's all for this first video.